This is um, the November 11, 11 reading. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is November 11, 11 reading. Um, yeah. Um, if you are here, you are supposed to be receiving this message. Um, dark times is about to come up on us and uh, um we as a species or um the humans or the humans and the beam and energy vibration on this planet uh, um have to deprogram ourselves and become very conscious of uh, what is happening at this moment what does 11 11 mean um 11 11 is the open of portals and what do we mean by portals it's a opening of uh, um invisible doors to all the universal systems okay so again 11 11 means it's the invisible door to all the solar system that is open okay and uh, what is happening is that with these invisible portal every time that you see the number 11 if you notice in the Torah number 11 is justice is balance but it's also a door because something comes in to end a situation in your life and bring new things so uh, this is it number 11 one and one is 11 this is the reason why powerful numbers like 11 22 33 44 55 is not broken down to singular number in numerology because of the powerful vibration that they carry okay so I can go in the numbers and I will go in the numbers, but there's a lot of people out there with the, um, different information. Okay. And it is good. Um, when you're looking for information, um, and when you're trying to find out what is the truth, the situation, ask your eye yourself, uh, is the information correct from this person? Okay. I'm not changing. I'm not getting up and pull the screen down because apparently this, Sun has to come in whatever is happening with the Sun whatever all right so we got that out of the way so 11 11 is just a portal it's the unseen an invisible door a portal an invisible door that is open to different dimension that is what 11 11 mean and this is why it is very significant if even I don't give the 10 10 the 1 1 the 2 2 I always give 11 11 because that means that on that day no matter where you are on this planet you're going to be affected and it depends on the physical dimension that you're vibrating in whether you're vibrating in the third dimension the fourth dimension or the fifth dimension okay and I've realized this because what I'm realizing is that um, uh, the the my uh, the 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 shift of energy is as if I have gone through this from 2017 so what is happening for you guys now is that I have gone through that process because I'm vibrating in a fifth dimension okay fifth dimension is where you are where unconditional love forgiveness and unconditional love 
Um, and uh, um, I, uh, I like sometimes you shift to, and especially this is especially for the um, fourth and fifth dimension, but it's for everyone. But for the fourth and fifth dimension, people, because some people, we first are in the fourth. We get out of the third and realize that we drop our, um, um, our professional jobs. And um, then we go back. Okay? And then you come back because you're, you're, side, you're in balance because you're in fourth dimension, fifth dimension. Now, what a lot of you will, will realize that on this day and uh, right up, that's why I gave the magical vi um, video, because for the, now, from the 31st of October, um, right on um, to um, 31st of March is a mystical time. People wake up, the shift, the timeline, time is going faster and faster and faster, okay? Um, for the people in the fourth and fifth dimension, you're aware of what is happening, what is transpiring. You're feeling the shift coming on. You realize that if you're speaking, you just have to speak the truth. So people in fourth and fifth dimension are really feeling the shift of energy that is going to come in and it's going to get worse um, on the 11th, the 11th, Monday, the 11th, the 11th, because you're going to be feeling the shift of vibration. If you go outside, um, the fairies are going to be feeling it. Uh, a lot of fairies are coming out, which is just so powerful because I'm seeing all the fairies coming out. Uh, um, they're all in YouTube, so um, you can connect with the fairies, the witches, the fairies. It's going to be magical for the witches and fairies because they're very good. They know how to manifest things, and this is so wonderful. I always love the witches and fairies because they're so powerful because they work with the heart. They work with the heart energy, and this is what is going to be aligning us, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, be ready because there is a huge shift you are going to be feeling just about any planet, plant, animal, whatever you are, species, beam, UFO, whatever you are, you are going to be feeling on Monday a shift of energy. Whether it's a good shift or a bad shift, it is up to you because um, from 2012, everyone um, has been receiving the message that you need to choose and choose to become conscious and awake okay so um now um it is picking up speed and ladies and gentlemen hold tight because 2020 is going to hit you like a block okay 2020 is going to hit you like a block so this shift on the 11 11 what is going to be transparent is that a lot of portals are going to be opening and a lot of uh, spiritual beings, multi-dimension beings, star seeds, your spirit guides are um, going, to st going to come through on that day. So if you're in meditation, um, you're going to be meeting your spirit guides and um, your soul um, family and your spiritual family is going to be coming in. 11-11 is a good day to meditate, okay? It's a really, really good day to meditate if you want to meet your spiritual guides and you want to know what is your spiritual duel in life and that sort of a thing okay so the unicorns came up they want to give their message okay the unicorns or um or or horses that is that is on this planet and whenever they vibrate and they and, and they ascend because each and every one of us what is here to do a job and ascend the animal the chicken and the meat that you eat we're all here to ascend in whatever way whoever we're all here to ascend and with the unicorns king and queen of unicorns and um pegasus pegasus you can work with pegasus to touch and heal your heart okay so pegasus comes in um, it's going to be good on Monday the 11th if you're having heart chakra problem, heart problem, situations with your heart. Um, the unicorns are going to be coming in and Pegasus, the unicorn Pegasus, touch, open and activate your heart chakra. So use him to do that, okay? Now we have the king and queen of unicorns, the queen of unicorns. Open up your aspiration and there you can... Um, manifest your wishes and dreams these are for the people who are 
working with the unicorns and the unicorns are your spirit guides they are night dimensional beam so not everyone can work with the unicorns because they're very very um they're play they're from a ninth dimension okay um only the buddha is at the sixth dimension on this planet okay so if even you're so spiritual and everything um, you can tell me everything because not even I am going to go to the sixth dimension on this planet okay um, so um, only Buddhas and not all Buddhas because um, um, to be um, a sixth dimensional beam and to vibrate in the sixth dimension is that uh, you basically cannot communicate with society okay um, that is when no television is watched you have no electricity you are just living in nowhere and some people are going to say well the Africans yeah it's maybe some people who are born okay all right king of the king of the unicorns is also here they're going to be coming in they're going to be um, sending down their rays so they're going to be coming in so for each and every person no matter what beam who are your um spirit guides who are your angels and guides um multi-dimension star seeds all of your star seed family is going to be open the veil is going to be thinner all of you if you have a question um light a candle you will know what candles to use monday night going right um sunday night going right into monday night and you will understand because your spirit guides are going to be coming up and, and connecting with you okay and this is what I'm saying to you ladies and gentlemen because you can see my aura now some people can see my aura it's very white it's very pure it's very clean I can even see it now and this is the reason why I um, I said to you guys in the beginning of this I can't because um, the universal whatever message that is coming in it's like uh, some of you are just gonna get download you might be just walk in yeah and it's good for you guys because fairies the fairies the witches um, the kabouters they know what a spiritual day um, 11 11 is going to be they know the spiritual day that 11 11 is going to be so ladies and gentlemen be aware we're not alone on this planet there is a lot of spiritual beams the ascendance masters are here the god and goddesses is going to be opening up just about it doesn't really matter from where whatever dimension you are from whatever spiritual dimension whatever planet um you're going to be finding out if you have uh, um, handicapped kids and that sort of a thing that their energy vibration is uh, or they're very adjective or fidgetive is because they're feeling the energy coming on so like um, seven days two days three days uh, um, before it hits on the 11 level you're going to be realizing um, if you have handicapped kid, um, people that they're a little bit adjective it's because um, their energy vibration ground the energy on this earth and as there's a portal is going to be opening up what is happening and what is transpiring is that they are basically feeling the alliance of the energies that is coming in okay Handicapped people choose to become handicapped because um, they hold certain types of energy and they you know um, you know that is something I have to explain to a lot of people and this is why I said to a lot of people if you have a child and the child is handicapped it was meant for a reason that's the form they take in because they have to do um, work on this planet okay and this is the reason why all right so um, as we go and we're looking um, there is some people on this planet that keep that the watchers um, this is a day um, the night before the 11th 11th you watchers um, are going to be definitely communicating with your um, spirit guides or um, guides because they're going to be coming in because um, um, you watchers have to deliver um, certain information and exchange information with them um, for 
the shift that is coming on the 11th 11 because ladies and gentlemen there is a shift coming in and a lot of people are not awakened and this is why you don't feel the shift that is coming in but a lot of shift whenever we have portals the opening of portals we can have good um, good energy or we can have um, spiritual beams um, beams from other solar system dimension comes in at that time so what can happen crazy things can happen okay and especially now that time is speeding up um, there's an intergalactic warfare that has been going on for quite a couple of years and if you go and um, listen to the video and go to the guy watching the star there is uh, um, a warfare with other um, spiritual beams that is happening okay um, uh, if you follow the um, watching the sky um, I saw it in Florida um, last year and I saw it in Florida this year where it was you could see it was no thunder there was no rain there was no lightning and you could see um, the the warfare the lights the bond everything behind the cloud another woman saw it in England another woman saw it in uh, Ireland and 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 it, you know go watch that channel because um, it's going to be helping you to understand a whole lot of stuff that is about to hit this planet ladies and gentlemen we're not alone on this planet okay wake up wake up we are not the only civilization that is here and neither are we the slimmest just wake up and understand okay because I'm awaken you to this because there has been and for a lot of fourth fifth dimension you guys are receiving a message from the Palladians from the nine um, just name it the indigos um, just name it all I have given the information on my channel I used to write you can pick up my book to find out I used to write but I stopped giving out this inf information because people are um, using the information in the wrong way okay um, and whatever is transpiring ladies and gentlemen this 11 11 is going to make a lot of shift there is a lot of crazy things that is going to be happening because it is the veils are so thin and the portals are open so different species are going to be coming in on this planet now because your eyes your your third eyes are not open what is going to be transpiring is that some of you are going to be um, picking up these energies or these energies you can't sleep it's like a full moon thing be careful of your thoughts your thoughts is what because if you will ask for something negative to happen to someone else um, it's gonna bounce back to you okay if you have been doing negative energy your your karma is going to boom and it's going to hit you okay so you gotta be understanding that it is a time to to do magic okay and it is a day if you're asking for something healing if you're asking for healing with cryon it is a good day if you have healings to do it's a good day okay all right obviously um time is speeding up reality is changing as you quint and they want you to know this Venus is going to come in next year Sagittarians are going to have a problems with a relationship um, 2020 but they can heal it from now 11-11 um, Marriages that take place between other spiritual beam on 11 11 is going to last for eternity because the spirit guides are joining the right people together. Eleven eleven um, 
if you get pregnant on 11 11 you can bring in a spiritual beam or a lower energy but um they're seeing that more spiritual beam is going to be coming in with um 11 11. people are going to start be waking up um the shift that is coming in the energy that is coming in on monday it's going to hit people people are going to start waking up some people are going to start getting confused some people are going to be ending relationship and in work just not knowing why they're doing it it's because they're not fulfilled anymore um, people are going to be ending friendship because they realize that they have been living false hope false dream um, Um, a lot of information is going to be coming out governments there's changes huge changing in government that has to do with um, information um, uh, identity information governments uh, are connecting together to make a huge change um, systematically for uh, each and every person um, life is going to change dramatic um everyone is going to be affected whether you're in the three dimension two dimension um people are going to start seeing two moons two sun in the sky which are already people in fourth and fifth dimension is already seen people wants to go back um to remember who they are um um, there are angelical beings that are going to be connecting with and work with the people who wants to work with them the ascendance masters are here um, Lord Kutumia um, is going to be coming through Lord Kumika is going to be coming through the right brother what is uh, is going to be open for question from light workers and spirit guides um, some people can just find themselves being just awakened and, and, and realized and seen beyond the veil of illusion. So, um, you know, you could be taking whatever and all of a sudden you realize that um, nothing you're living in an unseen reality where um, things are not what they seems to be, okay? So a um, huge shift is going to be coming in. life on this planet people a lot of people are going to start seeing the changes coming in um the 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 stock market it can be a good day for the stock market and i'm not doing this for you guys honestly it can be a good day for the stock market for some stocks it's going to be good for some stocks it's going to fall unbelievable okay and it depends on the stock market because again if there's another fall as 2008 um, it's as if everything is gonna crash okay um, and if that happens China is going to be having the um, um, economical growth okay um, a good day to pray um for the ozone layer for the heart is um on the 11 11 okay so you can connect in groups you can do the fairy walk uh, the witches and the witches and the fairies are going to be coming in and working together um and that is just going to be powerful because it's actually healing the heart okay it's just basically actually healing the heart so it's going to be wonderful um the israelites um, whoever if you're Israelites and you're watching this video um, download frequency symbol are going to be coming up so whatever you guys know because there is just so many multiple people um, Palladians are going to be coming in flooding flooding love they're going to be healing their um, bloodline first so the Palladians are going to if you're um, a beam of Palladians, you're a star seed, a multi dimension, you're going to be touched and healed by the Palladians, okay? All, just about all. And I have named like 50 
in my book some some I didn't get to put in my book but you can go pick up my book it's a good time to go pick up my book um, of the different uh, species they're not unidentified object and that sort of a thing they're just spiritual beings okay where we are um, a genetic bow from different Spanish um, spiritual beams okay not all of us all right um, people um, and yeah hurtlings and why you are called earthlings is because um, you did not come from a different solar system only the star seeds the multiple dimension um, the blue blood the blue rays uh, and name it all these um, spiritual beams um, sectors are going to be having um, this is a day if you're in sectors like you know the different sectors they're going to be having their ritual um, the Catholics um, could have their sex rituals and that sort of a thing and yes they do okay it it is coming from um, aeons and eons and eons so there's a lot of sectors um, groups association that is going to be doing their rituals on the 11 11 is a good um, it's a good day to do your rituals because you manifest okay it's very magical especially this 11 11 is very magical and this is the reason why I send out that magical magical um, 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 magical message to teach you guys how to manifest and work with magic the witches are aware of that which is so beautiful uh, the witches and uh, um, the fairies there's a lot of fairies I my girlfriend is a fairy um, she has been receiving a lot of messages but um, I have to say this and I have to let people know that things the ship is coming ladies and gentlemen um, as of 2020 um, if you don't know how to manifest if you don't know how to um, pure heart pure heart of mind is going to be very 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 important um, positive thought is going to be very important there's another thing that they're saying is that a lot of people are dieting uh, and and um, uh, stop eating um, uh, proteins meat and that sort of a thing and it's not the correct way okay because everyone blood group um, have a need specific food and you have to hold on um, to that so you need to find out what is a specific uh, food that is good for your blood group and that is what you're supposed to be holding on to because a lot of people um, see, seem to be shifting and stop eating meat and that's not it because that's not it for everyone um, people think um, people seems to follow other people once someone bring a trend in then everyone is following the trend you're not the same okay some of your earthlings some of you are multi-dimension beams some of you are spiritual beams some of your um, star seeds some of you are um, crystal kids some of you are um indigo kids uh, some of you have crystal and indigo so it depends on who you are okay um there is a lot of new ascendance masters and god and goddesses are going to be coming in um they want to um, communicate with the universe they want to bring out um their message they want to let you be aware and align of what is going to be happening as of 2032 um, so they're going to be um, the, the activation of DNA is also coming up so um, a lot of people DNA is going to be activated um, let's say that you are um, being um, being um, pulled by negative forces negative situation you can balance this out on the 11th you can call upon your angels and guide um, they're asking to use white candle on 11 11 white pink or red confidence um, peace and love okay white pink and red confidence peace and love there is some of you that can use yellow because yellow basically bring 
um, in pure light, the energy of the sun, if you notice. Okay. Um, source, the source of all things. And if you notice, okay, this, <laughs> the source of all things, universal angels and guides, the power of the universe, the opening, we can all accept and, and believe in who we truly are okay um light beams light workers are going to be activated um some of you will be gaining new gifts and some of you um if you have used your gift in the wrong way your gifts will be released from you okay so um the egyptians um uh the beams light beams universal beams um multi-dimension beams the white brotherhood the white brotherhood wants to align each and every person on this planet to be awakened of who you are consciously um and that there is and there is coming um uh it, it, it's as if they're saying um the false prophet is going to be coming up between now and 22 between now and five years a false prophet will be there and all you have to do is ask yourself um is this person um vibrating on the positive vibration okay it's this person vibrating on the positive vibration because of priors um the there would have been an earthquake that happened in july um that would affect canada um and no ca yeah california going back to canada because of priors priors group praying it did not okay it didn't happen um it's set backwards but yet still the shift can happen it there is just going to be a lot that is happening because uh, um universe a lot of people are going to see ufos in the skies at night okay um some of you are going to be finding out information that was not being told to you it's as if you wake up and you you're like, whoa, okay, let me go look, research that to see if it's true. And you're going to be finding out, uh, yes, um, questions that you had that was never answered. You're going to be, it's as if the information come in, especially if you're going to go outside and walk on Monday the 11th, 11th, unbelievable source of information. For the light workers, um, fourth dimension, fifth dimension, um, multi-dimension beams um, they want you to change your bed sheet change your bed sheet whatever is happening um, whatever your guides and angels are coming in um, it's like your bed has to be clean uh, especially the pure white beams uh, more information from the nine is going to be coming in the nine is a spiritual civilization who um, they connect to via the nine so is um, always is, um, the soul of nine people um, networking um, is going to be connecting via um, psychic um, they're going to be giving out psychic like your psychic is just going to be aware or your telepathic okay um, it's, it's as if magic it's as if magic we're going to start it's as if there's magic magic is going to be happening okay so it's as if uh, when in the three dimension um we could manifest as uh, uh, as easy as now and whatever is in this time span that is going to manifest is it has to do with uh, who you are and uh, what are you manifesting is it going to help you to better yourself is it going to um, help you or someone else to better themselves but if you're trying to um, work black magic um, it is 11 11 is for 
um, pure magic okay 11 11 is for pure magic so whatever is transpiring 11 11 is for pure magic okay so white magic okay so you have black magic you have white magic okay so 11 11 is for white magic all right um people are going to start seeing um shifters shifters or beams that can shift in and out of dimensional feel um it's like teleporting um teleporting to another dimension a lot of people um could do that if you're in meditation or you're astro um traveling okay astro travel is going to be um so powerful uh, sunday night going into monday the 10th going into the 11th astro travel is just going to be it's just so fabulous be careful um when you're doing astro travel you have to ask your angels and guides to protect you archangel michael and all the beams to protect you um there was something uh okay all right so what is happening now on um you know they some people did the co2 um you know prote um, protesting against the co2 it was that they should have done it on the 11 11 and this is what people do not understand there are certain days that was meant for certain things okay 11 11 was the day to do protest to heal the ozone layer okay all right so 2012 there was a lot of a lot of information and there are going to be dark times coming in because people are going to start seeing ufo people are going to be start seeing things and do not understand um what is going on so you're going to be freaking out okay and um you're going to be like in metro buses train and someone who is sitting down before you is going to shape shift um some is shape shifts but some is that your third eyes open and you're seeing that is 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 an unidentified beam that means that is a beam that you have never seen in this lifetime okay because they're going to be coming in so um you got to be aware of this they're going to be coming in okay um is there's no question they're going to be coming in pure love love and light pure love you have to use pure love and light you have to make sure that your heart chakra is ill and this is why the unicorns pegasus came in um to come in because sometimes you will see um for the fourth dimension or fifth dimension people you will see the king and queen of unicorn on my left or my right okay so sometimes the king is on my right hand sometimes the king the queen is on my left hand um and they are going to be helping especially people in the fifth and ninth dimension um to accelerate you um your frequency okay um, and this is why I say to people, my readings are timeless. And why is it? It's because I have gone through the energy shift of this time already. Okay. So I've gone through the energy shift because I'm a fourth dimension, five dimension being. Okay. Um, light workers, uh, multi dimension people are always uh, um, born and knowing that they are different. Okay. So. Um, when we were born, we know we were different. We come in in another way. We come in through our parents' home, but um, uh, we see we come from pure source. Okay, so people who come from pure source have um, um, it's like they can't lie. They're always just they cut through they can't they can't bullshit okay they're just you know they don't bullshit they just cut through cut through um so you will find um and 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 they don't feel con connected to humanity okay so um that <laughs> sort of a thing um there is a lot um there's going to be dark time especially for the people in a three dimension, there is going to be um, really dark times for the people in three dimension. And this is because of uh, um, uh, they're not um, consciously awake. And because people are not consciously awake, this is what happened. When you start looking at your neighbor and seeing um, a different uh, 
universal beam or so then you're going to be realizing that uh, um you're just um that that is when the shift begins because you're seeing with your third eye you're realizing that the person who sit in front of me and stand in front of me is not who it was and you're going to be seeing beams things um a lot of deja vu is going to start happening and like on 11 11 a lot of deja vu is when you you it is as if you sit someplace or it could be at work and it's like whoa this what happened but deja vu comes whenever there is something there is some effect of your past um journey because your soul um your soul holds a lot of information okay so if you have bad experience with someone someplace or or, or a product or something like that what happened is that your soul hold it so sometimes you meet people and just directly you're like no mm -mm. Mm -mm. nope okay some people are going to be finding that after 11 11 you are going to be either thinking about relocating that sort of a thing that is because you got to do and you got to clear up um certain karmatic issues with people in a different location so let's say you live somewhere 10 5 15 years okay and then you you're going to be moving back to the place is because there is karmatic um, situation that you have to clear up with other people okay um, Cleopatra Cleopatra I know I get something for someone out there Cleopatra um, you are an Egyptian queen who boom. so <laughs> so if someone asks a question who am I or who do I connect to or you know who are my spirit guide Cleopatra I am you are an Egyptian queen okay a lot of spiritual beams are going to start and even people who do not want to accept uh, um, accept their spirituality and um, you're like multi-dimension or you came under um, you came here to become a, an angel or you came here um, to finish your work to become an angel or to finish your work to be a spirit guides or to finish your work to be a god or to finish your work to be a goddess and you don't want to accept it um, that's it can affect you in a whole lot of ways so you got to be careful you got to be aware um, what is happening and what is transpiring okay elf 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 is going to bring in messages the ascendance masters or hoping um, the archangels the, the and, and one prior to say on this day is that um, call upon mother father God soul creator and the universal angels to bring in the principal angels to heal humanity okay um, that is something that is powerful um, that is going to be coming in ladies and gentlemen I must say to you and this is what they're saying dark times is up on us okay a lot of uh, unexplainable things are going to be happening as of after 11 11 going into 2020 2020 is like a change of the guards okay you have to understand 2020 is like you come out of the 19th okay and you're going in the 20 um polarities dualities so this is where the deja vu's come in this is where you sit looking at someone and um their whole the old features change okay uh, and 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 where you're going to be um, some people can lose it but there are people to call their um, holistic healers um, that is coming up um, a lot of people um, especially ophiosis 
um, Ophiosus uh, Sagittarians, uh, Ophiosus Sagittarians, Virgos, some Capricorns that are spiritual, uh, the Geminis are going to be feeling the shift very, very hard because the Geminis are um, twins, so they have two personalities, they can't help themselves. Um, and what happens to the spiritual Geminis because they have two personality is that uh, it's going to affect the Aquarians too. But the Geminis, because they have two personality, what happens is that um, their consciousness might might begin with one personality, and then they have to merge um, merge the two personality. And if you realize, is that sometimes Gemini. Um, that's why Gemini's are very quiet because they have two personality. So you have to learn to balance out both personality. Okay. It's like having, um, um, uh, a lot of people do not understand. And this is what I said before. You're going to discriminate someone. Um, try to understand what exactly is going on with a person. Okay. So, or find out what is the person, um, birth date and then you can understand what characteristics um, is affecting someone. This is why the Geminis are always so very smart. Geminis and Aquarians can be extremely smart people and the Librans, okay? Air sign people because it's fluid, okay? It's not like grounded. You're an air sign, so communication and very slick. So um, Capricorns have that, especially... Um, Capricorns that is born um, can have that, okay? Um, and very, very just direct. And some people can deal with it and some people can't deal with it. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing, and that's why I, um, like Librans and, and Capricorn, Caps people, that's why Caps people can converse with each other. All right. Now, the biggest thing, get ready for this, because this next year is when it's gonna you're gonna start feeling the shift from 1111. Okay, so go back to my website and look for the 13th sign, okay? And what has to inspire is that um the 13th sign is the Ophiosis. So before we had this planetary system and um the zodiac sign. Now, what has to inspire is that. The shift of consciousness coming out of the aquar uh, aquarium shifting consciousness between the Pisces, the Piscean, and the Aquarian time. The shift is on the 11, 11. Okay, so get ready because all astrology uh, log people who does astrolog are aware of that. Some information are given, some information are not given because I, 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 I basically don't think that humanity is ready for this, okay? Because if you are a good star seed or a good multi-dimension, you are aware of what is about to hit this planet. And I, and I really don't think that humanity is, um, ready for this. And I, and some people can, and I, I, <laughs> And I see this with my readings also because I can't keep back. I channel. So whatever is coming out is that because I channel, my guides and angels are, are shifting the information through. It's, it's as if the information is just coming in. You see, and that is what I said. I don't read tarot and I don't read cards. It's basically seeing the image and you're shifting because that's how... There are different types of psychic or there, there's different type of medium. Are they psychic? Are they medium? I don't know because I don't know what to call myself. But the thing about it is that uh, I'm gift with all, all of them. And some of you, you're going to be realizing that you're receiving the gift of healing. The gift of healing is just going to be opening up. Whatever is transpiring, the gift of healing is just going to op open up for a lot of people. Now, um, some of you are going to realize that you are not vibrating with the same frequency that you were vibrating with seven days before the 11th and seven days after the 11th 11th. 
and why is that if you're a cups person and I guess that is the only group that is not going to be so affected because their entire life they have been a cups person so let's say let's begin with January so that you guys understand this uh, January to the beginning of February have to do with the Capricorns and the Aquarians okay so if you were born 14 of January um, you have are a cups person so you have earth and here so you have earth and air sign okay um, as we look at February going to March we have the Pisces so the Pisces have hair and water hair and water so if you're in a relationship with someone who were born the ending of February and the beginning of March is that this person is really love itself and believe in love but the communication is not there okay so you have to understand what is happening and what is transpiring so people like that they learn to use the swords of truth when it's time and they they can balance it out um, with 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 love you know cuz um, that's what they do they use the sword of truth for the Pisces that is born February March they use the source of truth but they balance it out with love so they can like come hard at you but their heart is so full of love that they clear that up um, so what is going to be happening especially for those people who born five days before the ending of a zodiac sign is that you're going to be vibrating with the opposite the sign that you're coming out of so um, for the Capricorns um, January February you are going to be going back backwards okay all right so you're going to be becoming a full Capricorn where um, you're going to be balancing out uh, um, and you're going to be going um, forward now the other people that is going to be going backwards is the non um, caps people you're going to be going to the sign the, the, the sign that was behind you and uh, the cups are going to go to the sign that is before you so let's say that um, you're cups but you were born the beginning of the end that means that you are going to be um, balancing out both sides now so it's as if you come in working on one sign and you're going to be moving to the other sign so that's going to be another video but that is what the shift is going to be for the 11th I want to say um, the world is about to change consciousness because as each and every person change their consciousness on this planet that's when we all change as humanity um, the, the the message is love but um, there's a lot of shift is going to be coming in a lot of people are going to be realizing that we were lied to that there is um, actually UFOs and by the way another message that I, I received for a lot of people out there um, who wanted to go to that um, space system in America back away back away because you're not ready okay back away um, two people were caught I remember seeing a video two Dutch guys were caught going there um, it's not ready it's not for you we need to respect things because some of you are really not ready for when the Pandora box is open okay so we can all say why is it and what people if you were ready for information you would have gotten the information but you're just not ready so I will say to you and we're saying to you that it is better to awaken your consciousness okay and um, if you were supposed to know the information you would have received the information so where um, you know we just need to respect um, the rules and regulation okay we just need to respect and especially um, for um, uh, okay 
um, the North Pole and um, the South Pole. Uh, there are portals. Oh my God, there is just so much. If you want to be ill, go to the Stone Edge, the Stone Edge. Okay, so if you can go to the Stone Edge in England, there's Stone Edge in Italy. Go a real Stone Edge, okay? That's where the healing is going to be coming in. That's when you're going to be feeling the energy and know and know that we are not alone on this planet, okay? I want to say um, I'm wishing you um, a wonderful 11-11. Namaste. Until next time.